Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to 8 in Bangla. This is Shafi Akbi with the news. First, the UP headlines. Prime Minister inaugurates six power stations, nine grid substations, and 10% electrification program in 12 Upazilas, reaching electricity door to door pledge. CEC directs election officials to suspend polls in case of any irregularity in Upazila election. And bus owners blame Dhaka Transport Coordination Authority for failing to restore discipline in city public transport system. DTCA cites various limitations as pretext. Now on to the details. Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has said the government is working to reach electricity door-to-door -door for overall development of the country. She said this while inaugurating six power stations, nine grid substations, 10% electrification program in 12 upazilas and supply of electricity to Shondip Upazila through submarine cables by video conference from Gonopavon today stating that as much as 1062 megawatts of electricity have been added to the country's national grid sheikh hasina renewed her call to the people to be economical in using electricity Chief Election Commissioner K.M. Nurul Huda has directed election officials to suspend election in case of any irregularities in Upozila election. He was speaking at a two-day training of returning and assistant returning officers of the upcoming Upozila Porishad elections at Election Training Institute today. The CEC advised the officers to allow the people to exercise their franchise freely in the Upazila Porishad elections. He also urged the candidates to ensure respective agents at polling centers without making the election questionable. BNP has alleged that the government and the election commission are hatching conspiracy to deprive the people of their right of franchise in Upazila and city corporation elections like that of parliamentary election. Bringing the allegation at a news conference at party central office, BNP senior joint secretary general Ruhul Kabir Rizvi claimed that Begum Khaled Azia is being deprived of legal assistance as the judiciary is being controlled by the government. Better treatment and release of Khalid Azia was demanded from the press conference. Jatiyo Eco Front has observed an hour-long black badge wearing program in the capital this afternoon protesting the vote decoity in the 11th parliament election. The program started at 3 p.m. and ended at 4 p.m. in front of National Press Club. People, irrespective of party and opinion, took part in the program. Bus owners are blaming Dhaka Transport Coordination Authority for failing to restore discipline in the city public transport system. They accuse that the extremely chaotic transport scenario is responsible for nagging traffic congestion and rising accident-related casualties. According to experts, implementing the decision to run company-based buses, as was contemplated by the late Dhaka North Mayor Anisul Haq three years ago, could go a long way in resolving the problems. But the implementing agency, DTCA, has cited various limitations preventing the implementation of the initiative of running buses on the basis of several companies. BGB Director Major General Shafin Islam has claimed that no killing took place along Bangladesh-India border. Inaugurating a modern data center at BGB headquarters this morning, he pointed out that the killing of Bangladeshis 10 to 15 kilometers inside India cannot be termed as border killings. He emphasized on increasing social awareness and constructing border roads to completely stop smuggling. Forty more families of ethnic minorities have infiltrated into Bangladesh from Myanmar through Ruma border in Bandarban. With this, the number of refugees at Chaikhangpara stands at 203 who are now staying in tents. 
local people are helping them with food. Meanwhile, a team comprising Army and BGB visited the area to monitor the condition of the refugees. LGRD and Cooperatives Minister Tajul Islam has urged entrepreneurs to come forward to invest in rural areas. Speaking at a workshop for the young entrepreneurs at Sedap Auditorium, he said, infrastructural changes are being brought about in rural areas to widen the scope of modern civic amenities. Now news for abroad. Russia says it is planning to develop new missile systems after both Russia and the U.S. suspended their involvement in an arms control pact. The Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces INF Treaty banned both countries from using short and medium range missiles. Last week, U.S. President Donald Trump announced the U.S. would leave the pact, which it has long accused the Russians of violating. Russia then did the same raising concerns about a new arms race. Finally, cricket and the second qualifier match between Rampur Riders and Dhaka Dynamites of BPL kicks off a short while from now at Mirpur. Today's winner would take on Kumila Victorians in the final on Friday. And that is the end of this bulletin. To view ATN Bangla News, browse www.youtube.com slash news. Subscribe and remain with ATN Bangla. Allah Hafiz. Thank you.